Crown Norm legislature. Norm Kent, the president of the National Organization for Reform of Marijuana Laws. Also with me, Brad Lamb, addiction specialist and founder of Breathe Life Healing Centers. Brad Lamb, not just an addiction specialist, a former addict himself. Gentlemen, thank you for being with us. All right. First to you, Thanks, Norm you. Kent, the president of Normal for the legalization of mar reform of marijuana laws. Norm, why is it okay to spend your welfare money in the weed shop? Well, I think you'll join with me in, in recognizing that the Colorado legislature has is prudently and wisely stated that marijuana has both medicinal and oh, social good. healing values. And Are you back on medicinal used. marijuana? Norm, let me just last time, I am not arguing about medicinal marijuana. If medicinal marijuana makes a cancer patient free of pain, I'm all for it. I'm not talking about medicinal marijuana. And why is it, Brad Lamb, that it's okay in Colorado for me, for me to work three jobs, which I do, plus raise my children, and I spend my money to help other people that are not as blessed as me, but they can spend that money at the pot shop. Why is that okay? Well, it's the same old line you're getting from Norm Nancy, the, the same old tired line where they prop up medical marijuana is the reason why there should be no laws that protect us, the taxpayers, uh, uh, from the dumb things that those that are stoned do. And, and Nancy, I've had more negative response to my talking with you about pot than anything else over the years. You know, the folks that are pot that? lobbyists yeah. are doing a very effective oh, job. I'm totally being tarred and feathered. But, you know, yeah. uh, this is what I know, Brad. This is what I, I know. I spent and, 10 and years. I spent 10 years prosecuting felonies in inner city Atlanta. I saw it all. And what I saw a lot of is people trafficking and people high on pot and committing crimes and ignoring their children. And I've been reading a recent study uh, by our government that says marijuana users who use the drug have psychosis, hallucinations, delusion, loss of sense of personal identity, no coordination. And those are the people that are out driving and raising their children. And Nancy, this is well, super Nancy, important. The, 20, the 21st century pot that people are smoking today is very different than pot from the 70s. It's much stronger, it's been GMO'd, it's been genetically modified to be stronger and have more impact. It is not innocuous, and for folks that are prone to addiction, it's a real problem. So, Norm, well, Nancy, I still don't I understand that years. every time I ask you a question, you start talking about cancer patients and medicinal marijuana. Okay, put that out of your mind and focus on the question. Norm Kent, why do I work three jobs and the money that I give to the government to support less fortunate, less blessed people by welfare, why can they spend that money out of my pocket on pot? Well, first of all, Nancy, if the government empowers somebody to become a welfare recipient, they can't, on the other hand, tell that individual how they must spend yes, they can. their funds. Oh, yes, and they can. And let me just add, uh -uh. Let me yeah, just no, add no. that this war uh, that's not right. on prohibition Those... is... I, I will answer your question if I can get the second point in. But the, the very first thing you said is, is not true. Experiment. 